Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Greenberg of Belvedere Podiatry, and this is Belvedere Podiatry on my personal MD. Heel pain is one of the most common complaints foot and ankle specialists are consulted for. Two conditions comprise 99% of heel pain. These are plantar fasciitis, also known as heel spur syndrome, and heel bursitis. The symptoms and physical examination is different for each of these conditions. A proper diagnosis is important to establish, as treatments for each of these conditions are also different. Plantar fasciitis, also known as heel spur syndrome, is due to a pulling of a ligament, the plantar fascia, on the bottom of the heel. The tension of this ligament at its insertion to the bone can cause a heel spur. The spur is not painful, but the pulling of the ligament on the heel is what causes the pain. Initial treatments include reducing the tension of this ligament on the heel, and that is typically done with arch supports, proper shoes, stretching exercises, and perhaps custom orthotics. If these treatments don't work, we would address the symptoms with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, injections, and physical therapy. In the rare cases that do not respond to previous treatment, we may consider shockwave therapy or surgical release of the plantar fascia. Heel bursitis, on the other hand, is due to hard heel strike and pressure during walking. This is successfully treated with increasing shock absorption via either a more cushioned shoe, silicone heel cups, or modifying activity. If these treatments don't work, we may consider anti-inflammatories, cortisone injections, or physical therapy. Other less common causes of heel pain include stress fracture of the calcaneus, tear of the plantar fascia, tarsal tunnel syndrome, systemic arthritis, soft tissue mass including ganglion or lipoma, plantar fibroma, or an entity known as Seaver's disease, commonly seen in children. To learn more, subscribe to My Personal MD now, and be sure to check back for new videos each week.